hello everyone so today we are going to create a player state in c++ for for the game and then we are going to create a blueprint child of that player state and then we are going to add the ability system component into that player state so that we can bind the resource attributes set that we implemented yesterday that represents these uh, resource counts in our game so here we have wood food gold and stone and they will be represented by the game playability system based resource attribute data set and that will be used within our player state so that's what we are going to set up in this episode so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limits so feel free to check it out and here is the full playlist of the of this c real-time strategy game tutorial series i'll leave the link to this in description below and also there is another playlist another series that i have done a strategy game template using blueprints so i'll leave the link to that as well in case you are interested more in the blueprint side right now let's get back to today's episode okay so in the last episode we did implement a attribute set to represent resources that means these things here wood food gold and stone so now i want to uh, create a player state and add the ability system component and then register the attribute set i created yesterday with the player state so the player state will keep track of the resource counters okay so C++ class there are player state here yeah and I'll add it to my top down utilities I'll call it player state great all right so now here is the player state class here yeah. start a section and the first thing is let's add the constructor like this and then let's start a protected section and here I need to add a variable for resource attributes and a variable for ability system component okay first I'll add a new property All this let's just leave the editing part and let's call it only category wait so the category don't need all this but the suggestion system keep giving me everything call it and this should be from the type const last your resource not component your resource attributes And we need another U property. Probability system. You fill it. This is one. Probability system component. Right. So 
now we've got an error so let's forward define uh, resource uh, attribute set and the ability system component yeah and let's go to the constructor let's implement it so first i need to create the ability system component the ability system component and then resource attributes we can define the resource attribute set like this this will initialize so internally the resource attributes and register it with this uh, ability system component okay now save everything and go back to the project hit compile Oh, we got an error that's because i forgot to include the actual header file yeah should have done that so it's those attribute set and the ability system component okay should be all good yeah all good all right so now we do have a C++ player state here. And let's create a blueprint instance from this. I'll save it. The blueprints in my, within my plugin under game framework. I'll call it VP top down player state. Now we can start using this as the player default player state of my top-down game mode base. I'll use this newly created blueprint player state, top-down player state. Okay, now here one thing is there is a way to define default abilities, sorry, default values for the ability system. Why am I not seeing this? Right. Maybe because I didn't add the new property. So let's add it. Add it. It's only. Maybe we should add it. For here. Actually. Just do that for now. Close it. Compile. Okay. Yeah, now we have the options to change. Okay, now here we have this uh, default starting data array so here i can add a data table to define default values for the resource attribute set so let's define a table do we have a data table here data table. and as the uh, as the row type we need to select this uh, attribute metadata type. Let's call it DT default. So default resource values. Right. Now here, let's add an array. Now in order to correctly bind these values we need to define attributes like this we need to use this name dot resource attribute set dot food like that that's the format we need to use okay. 
this value is the 200 mean zero max I don't really need a max value so I'll add a very large number like this whatever so it's fine and we have wood let me get this yeah wood leave it the same what okay now save this and here we can assign dt default resource values data table here and make sure that you have selected resource attribute set as the attributes okay i think that's all so just to make sure that these attributes are initialized let's do a print here delay two seconds attribute value resource attribute set wood so print this value see so if everything is working correctly we should see 200 it for a longer time so we have enough time to read and make it a different color yeah see 200 appeared here so that means we have 200 gold within the attribute set wood attribute all right nice so i think we should stop this episode right here now we have the data set attribute set and it is bound to our player state in the next time let's work on how to actually uh, bind the attribute set count uh, attribute set values in the player state with the hard here so the exact amount that is uh, available in our player state will be reflected here instead of just hard coded value that we have right now and after that we will use gameplay effects when we for example when we build a house if it should consume 10 wood then that amount will be reduced from the attribute uh, wood count in our player state and that will be reflected here as well so we will do that after that okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye